had some parts falling off. That thing able to cut you. Got gotcha. you? You okay? Man? Shave some of your skin off. Woo, dang. So we have I got stalled already. Look at what is that over there? Right? What, what is it? Parachuter. Parachuter. <laughs> so here's what we're doing in this video. Because I haven't even gone over that. Uh, we got this box from Kenny Reed. I kind of mentioned it, but it's pretty cool. It's a 2020 air box. Let me see if I can get this air. Hold on. Let me get this air filter off. Can't watch this. Okay. So this is the air box we got from Kenny Reed. It's out of a 2020, a brand new car. This is what it looks like. Uh, I feel like there's probably a replacement for this that we're going to change at some point. But uh, not today because we don't have it. And then we got the, the air filter itself, a new air filter with a Evo, with an Evo pre-filter. And there's my phone. I'll be right back. What's going on out here now? I think we're going to get ready to start tearing some stuff apart and trying to figure out how to swap out the air filter box yeah. wherever that yeah, went. Oh, it's right there on the back. Oh yeah, this guy right here. We got this from uh, Kenny Reed, Back to the Desert. Shout out to him. Awesome dude. Nice. Killing it with a bunch of Evo stuff on his car right now. So I know a bunch of people have said, leave the AC on. It doesn't bother us. We can't hear it. But we did some insulation. So we're going to turn it on for a little bit at a time. Right now I need it off just for this first part. It's Danny gets really upset about it, the noise it makes. So. What? <laughs> exactly so all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear into this and figure out we don't know how this air box goes in this uh, uh, supposedly it's a direct bolt in so we will find out right now what do you think we're just gonna rip and tear yeah I think it's a ripping and tearing and experiment I mean, it's yeah. not my car I don't have to worry about putting it back together so <laughs> all right whatever he said so let's do this. All right, so what we're gonna do, I think what we're gonna do, we know where the bolts are to take the air boxes loose, but we gotta get to a hose. Yeah, it's kind of pre-scouting, and I kind of look behind the seat and notice that the two bolts that hold on the air cleaner yeah. are right behind the right driver's behind the seat. seat. Okay, and then also down here, I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pull all these hoses loose real quick. So we will grab what, we need an eight millimeter and a handy dandy ratchet, power ratchet, and yeah. yeah. So we're going to turn the AC on while we do that. Alexa, ask Geneva to turn the AC on. Got it. I've turned on your air conditioning. You're spoiled. It was $29. You're still spoiled. Okay. I asked Leanna to turn on the AC. That's my Alexa. Okay, so I'm going to grab some tools. We got the AC on. Thanks everybody who's commented. Thank you to everyone who's commented and said, leave the AC on, it doesn't bother us. We appreciate that. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, so does Danny, a lot. Thank you. But, but I do have to stay, but I do have to say that still, when I'm editing, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It makes it more difficult, annoying for me. Tools, let's find tools. So we need, we're gonna use this because Danny's super spoiled. We're gonna take him ex some extensions even though he gets mad about them. We're gonna take all these. Make anyway. sure you have a 20 foot extension. Oh, all right. Kidding. What'd you say? Kidding, I said give me a 20 foot extension. All right, so we'll get this one, we'll get this one, we'll get this one, this. And this, not that, and this, and this, and this. All right. So bolts to take the air box are, are oh yeah, right there. Right there. I don't know if I've ever noticed those, and I've been behind that seat a bunch of times. I've never noticed it on mine. Crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here with all these. Why are you setting that down? I'm gonna remove this panel and here see if I can 
Okay. I dropped an extension. All right. What's going on in here? Well, we pulled this panel off so we get some access in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We gotta get that guy That's out for gonna sure. Be some fun. Ah. Not that bad. All right. Let's. We can always pull off the wastegate actuator if we have to. That's just a couple of bolts. And a hose. And a hose clamp. All right. So I think what we're gonna do out here probably is let's pull off uh, all the hoses, right? Maybe. Danny yeah. wants to pull off the air box before you can pull the hoses out of the way. No, I was just looking at it, like predetermining. Do we have any small clamps? Because there's a small hose that goes into the air cleaner, which I noticed goes on that that one too. That has a little clamp on it, and there are the uh, ones that you crimp down. Well, if not, we'll go to hardware. Sounds good. I like to go to the hardware. I know you like to go to hardware. All right, well, let's do this. Let's pull all the hoses off. As in, Danny pulls all the hoses off and I hold the camera. Or I knew there Danny a holds the camera off and should we have lunch first? Are you hungry? No. Oh, look at this. Brandy just bought this. Check it out. Look at that. It's got its own little... Yeah, I know. We're not, a, we're not a professional shop here, people. We're not a professional shop. We get excited about those things. I already pulled this cover off, which is a little dirty from your guys' mountain trip. A little dusty mass. That's to be expected. It was a dusty mess up there. We also have a razor to uh, maintenance before we're going to go ride in two days. Not what, and what's the, what's the special day. occasion? What's hey, the, I, I know this is going to be out after the special occasion, but... Well, it just happens to be when my son is off from work and Brandy's off from work. And I took the day off to go to Pismo. Why? Because uh, it was trash dash in Pismo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all true. Those are the real reasons. I would never take a day off for my birthday. All right, this is going to be a pain in the arse. I said arse, not the other word. see here, blind man trying to read. Oh, you're going to get a comment from, you're going to get a comment from Blind TV, Chris. Hey, Chris. Because you just said you're a blind man. He's way more blinder. I believe it. I'm just saying I can't see without glasses, and I'm <laughs> trying to right now. I know. I can't. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting. Well, that makes seven of us. That makes how many of us? Seven. Yeah, I guess so. Ooh. It's almost like he's it's been up before. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Not long ago, right? Uh-uh. What did we do? We put that chingit air in. All right. So we're going to put this airbag, airbag. We're going to put this air box on, and we're going to see if it's faster. See how it feels. I, I feel like there should be some better throttle response. Uh, I don't know. It's a 2020 air box. I wish mine was better. Mm -hmm. Oh, I miss. Well, after I remove this cover and we start looking at a few things in here. After you remove what? This cover. So the we can cover. access the hose back in here. Yeah. Looks like we're going to get this hose here off. So we could put it on that one. There's a hose that goes down here. Mm -hmm. It looks like it goes to that nipple there. Okay. And it looks like everything should, should mount up. All right, well, when we get closer, when we pull everything out, we'll show you what it looks like in the box, right? On the airbox? Yeah. So, that one's pretty close to loose? Yes, keep in mind, I'm going slowly, trying to figure out, figure out what where not to break. Right? Well, ideally, probably nothing, but you know. Ideally. I mean, not that we can sell it. 2017 airbox to anybody, I'm sure but that part doesn't matter. But. Wow, 
Let me just go see if I can get the shot from out here. All right. Well, what do we got? Let's see. We got a light in the way. Let's move this light for now. So up in there, we have hoses loose, hoses out of the way. Wow, that airbox is tiny compared to the new one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But okay. it's uh, the old box is longer. Looks like. Old box is longer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I see you're trying to get that hose off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems to be working out. That hose is pretty long. What if we unbolted the airbox and pulled that out a little bit? Maybe we can get it out, out here. Because I couldn't tell from this angle how long it was. Yeah, it looks like it. I think that hose would pull this way long enough, far enough to, for us to easily get that off over here. What so, about, if you, can you see this hose? So, if the if that connector would come off the turbo right there. But the hose that goes to like looks like a check valve over here that's not too long. Oh, okay. That one we had the, that, that said was pitched. Unrecord, but I'm sorry, what was that? This the hose right here? Yeah. We may be able to pull it away a little bit. The little? It's the pin. This one is pinched on with the, the which hose? The, this one. It goes down here to the little air vacuum box. hose. Yeah. Where it goes it up go? here to like a check valve. On the air box, though. No, it's, that's not on the air box. It comes from the air box. But there's a little solenoid up there. Yeah, that's the that's the boost control solenoid. Oh, nice. But that shouldn't have to come off. Right? How are you gonna get the box off? It's attached to the box. Mm -hmm. You sure? See how this has that little nipple? Oh. As I just dropped the filter out to the other box. Yeah, I forgot about that. It a has a little one. nipple here. Gotcha. But that goes on. So I would say, where, where, where does the other end go? Right. Can't see anything right now. All right. If you come, come over and say. All right, well, we're gonna come back. I gotta take a look at this. We will be back. So we have uh, this hose right here, if you can see this. Hopefully you can see this. Down in there, way down in there. That guy connects to the air box right there where I'm pointing. Hopefully you can see that on the new air box. And then it goes up to uh, probably the boost control solenoid maybe, I think. I would say since the uh, wastegate actuator is also connected to it. So what we need to do is we're going to have to cut that clamp off because it's one of those kind that's not screw on kind. It's not reusable. It's not reusable. So we're going to cut it off and we'll have to go to hardware and get one. Right? Yes. All right. So that's what we're going to do. So in the meantime, Danny's finally, three hours later, going to pull this air box off. Yeah, time flows when okay. you're having fun. Maybe five minutes, three hours, five minutes. In the meanwhile, you know, I wish look. I had a magnitude. In the meanwhile, this don't look at this bench right now. This is a um, this is from this project. That all of that, and I barely finished it up in time to get on this project, and uh, I didn't have time to. We only have so many hours. Uh oh. And I didn't have time to finish cleaning the garage. So, I mean, we cleaned up the garage pretty good, though. Look at the rest of it. Look at the rest of this. Look at this. Okay, so I have to take out those two screws. Those two bolts. Excuse me. Uh oh, what happened now? That thing is really flimsy. It really wants to just come out. Yeah. So, here, you ask for this. Oh, wow, look at that. Airbox is loose, so we just got to break a couple hoses loose. And yeah, so I guess we need to cut that clamp. Yeah, I actually took a clamp off that didn't need to come off. That's all right. Because that whole thing comes, yeah, that's fine. Because that whole thing, the whole comes new, on yeah, that. yeah, the new airbox comes with everything we need that, on the hose that he's talking about. Let's see if we can, I don't know if we can zoom in there or not.
and ooh, it came off the way it wasn't supposed to. Uh, uh, and there's that. Hey, look at that tiny little turbo back there. Looks like a blender has a bigger wheel. <laughs> uh, move that light. Let's get a shot. Can we get the shot? Can we get the shot? Let's see. Uh, that's good light. Lighting's perfect. All right, here we go. We're going to zoom in. Can we get the Terminator wheels? Oh, yeah, look at that. I think we got them. Yep. I, would, I would put my finger back there, but it would probably cover it. How's that turbo look since we're in there? It's clean. Clean? Yeah. No uh, dings on the fins or anything? Uh, looks like it a couple of dings on a fin. Don't you ever say that to me again. Okay, well. Okay, there's not no dings on the fins. <laughs> That's not good. So that means something got through the air filter. That's all right. We're getting a new turbo anyway. I, I mean, you know, that's what somebody says. All right, so we got to cut that. There's the thing we got to cut right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Uh, this is a new height of laziness. So I just zoom in rather than, wait, put your point to it. Can you point to it? Yeah. Yeah, we got to cut that clamp right there. That one. Focus, focus. That one right there. Yeah. All right, so Danny's going to cut that, and then the box, then the old air box is going to come out. And then we're going to see how the new one fits, right? Easy, easy, little squeezy. Oh, look how giant his head is. Look at what? How giant your head is. <laughs> I'm zoomed all the way in. I'm sure people don't really want to see that. Oh, you don't know. All right, here we go. My wife says she doesn't want to see that. Come on. Very nice. My wife, no. I can't believe she would say that. She didn't say that. I think sometimes she actually watches these videos. Does she? Sometimes. You better be careful then. Good thing I edited that out. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm leaving it all in. That's the fun part. These things are not fun to ah, take part. Yeah, now we gotta make a run to the hardware. Here we go. All right. Look at that. Hang thing. on, I gotta zoom out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So there's the old airbox. If anybody wants to purchase an official dandy off road airbox, it'll only be $500. All right. <laughs> I'm sure. sure somebody will be all over that. Let's put it up here. Let's compare it. So we're going to set the cap. Oh, wow. I don't know if I can get that one back in there. I barely got that one out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And so with this one, you don't have to be angry when you're trying to get this part off because it just clamps on. It's so much nicer on that part. Uh, so that part. Oh, wow. Look at the difference on the out on the outlet of the air. Of course, the intake to the, you know, into the turbo itself is the same size because the turbo didn't change size the airbox did but as far as the outlet outlet of air from the airbox into the turbo look at that we, get, we make sure we leave the towels in there right yes yes those are keep dust from getting in the engine perfect so or we take them out now so we don't actually don't forget <laughs> no we wouldn't do that oh, well, we wouldn't but you might all right, let's see how it fits. I'm curious. It already has that little outlet we need. It has a little, the little one for the little hose. So we'll have to go get a hose clamp. Uh -oh. I don't think I have one that size. Is that, I was curious, oh wow. May have a problem. We got a minor situation one. That is not good. That's not good. Okay. Well, shoot. That is interesting. Which hose is that? That's the one that comes up to this, uh, what, what do we call that? Filter that's up there on top? The pre filter? Yeah, this box. It's not that box. Put the pre filter box up there. In a situation like this, what we do, what I do, is I have lunch and I jump on some forums and see what the resolution, what the resolution is for this. We'll be back. All right, so what's going on, man? We are putting the factory airbox back in. Yeah, so unfortunately, what happened is uh, this part over here, if you look down here, is not the right one. We only have the original one. 
It belongs to the Can-Am 2017. The 2017, yes. new 2017 Can-Am Maverick X3 RS. No one's fault, but uh, we need the original one off the 2020. He's sending that. As soon as we have that, we'll get to finish this up. In the meantime, we got to put the old one back on, right? Yes. So, there's that. Yeah. All right, so. Which way is this going? So here's what's going on. Uh, that, the, the piece that goes to the pre-filter is different on the 2020. Uh, the piece that goes from the pre-filter to the air box, the new air box, won't fit. We got to put the car back together the way it was. Uh, Kenny's going to send out that other one that we need, and then we'll return to this. In the meantime, we're going to do this. We got to. Just wanted up. to show real quick what Danny's using here. Yeah, the. <laughs> no, we saw it. We oh, saw it already. Look at what is that over there? Right. What, what is it? Parachuter. Parachuter. <laughs> He's using the long extension. Uh, unbelievable. Okay, so we're back in the garage again. It's been, I don't know, probably a couple of weeks. I don't even remember. But basically what happened is Danny and I were out here. We were installing this 2020 uh, airbox. Uh, our 2020 airbox from Kenny Reed, back to the desert. And uh, we were missing a hose. We were missing this guy. We were missing this guy that goes from the pre-filter to the uh, air box itself. We only had the stock one. The stock one doesn't fit this air box. So if uh, you've been paying attention to this video, the first part of this video, we had to put, uh, your eye hasn't seen it yet, we had to put the stock one back on. So we're gonna grab some tools. Looks like, what do we need? We need a, I'm gonna say that's a, I'm gonna say it's a 13 or a 14. Here's a 14. Here's a 14. We have our electric ratchet right there. A 14. An extension or no? I think we're good without it. Danny likes it when you use long extensions. Mm -hmm. uh, Who's that? Who, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we're doing, we're taking the bolts off that, that hold the air box to the, right to the car. And then we got to get in here. That kind of lets it loose like this. Uh, then we got to get in there and we got to take some stuff loose. So we got to take some hoses loose. I think what we need to do is we need to grab. Let's grab this, this, and this, and this. I don't know if you saw any of that. Okay, so we got this stuff. We're gonna go come over here and pull some hoses off real quick. This right here. This. Uh, I didn't do any of this the first go around. Danny did it, so I don't remember. <clears throat> Let's do this. It's so handy right here. It's the little things. It Brandy is. picked this up the other day when she was at the hardware store. It's so sweet of her. That's how you need. Look at that. She's toned in for the shop. She's a crazy girl. Alright, we're gonna pull these. We're gonna... This hose doesn't need to come off to make this happen. I'm just pulling it off so it won't be in the way. So it can see in there, partially for the camera. Too. Yeah, so we got to pull off the center. One more. All right. See, this is where sometimes people give me a hard time. They're like, "Don't need a long extension. Use the use the extension that puts your tool closest to the, what you're working on." Hmm. Well, whatever. Look at <laughs> this. Watch this. I'm Voila. back here. Voila. Parts off. There we go. So let's see if I can get up in here. It's kind of, kind of actually kind of nice that we didn't tighten those. Because, oh, yeah, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. skip plate. I'm not sure which one that was. There we go. 
All right. Try to wiggle that out. Oh, man, I just flung that. Oh, I'll snap off. That's pretty awesome. Uh-uh, you got that little... Oh, yeah. You got another hose. Got. I just... Yeah. Got a little tiny little hose. Yeah. And it's got a hose clamp on it. Okay. Yep. If you hey, flip around, there we go. Keep flipping around, you'll see the head. There it is. You know what I'm going to do? Now... Let's pull this guy. I should have pulled this off already. For the cap? Yeah. Oh, um, not that one. You want to do that one? That one doesn't need to come off. We oh, you need the top, guy. top one, huh? We need, we need that little hose right there. See that little hose? Yeah, yeah, that little skinny one that goes all the way up. Okay, there we go. There, there, there. Yeah. Maybe we can get there she there. is. because I keep throwing them all over the place. We got 47 of them, we gotta find them. All right, so what I, one thing I did do, is we still gotta get this open. There we go, yeah baby. Wow, there we go. So I greased this a while back, but I, uh, uh. <laughs> oh no. Man, it looks like Travis's air filter. Oh, oh my God. God. Holy <laughs> crap. Dude. Dude. Oh my God. <laughs> you see this? I hope the camera's getting this. Holy crap. Dude, you need a new air filter. Seriously. But. Actually, you know, I got to look at mine. We just went up there, what, yeah. four times? Yeah, yours probably looks like mine's probably Look at that. I like the skin. That's pretty nice. Oh. Got the all-important thing that stopped us from making this happen before. The pre-filter hose. That right here. Mm -hmm. um, you want to come over here and get a shot of this? That's that is the pre-filter hose right there. Yeah. It was an issue last time. I gotta get a step ladder, I can't reach that. So this is the hose that was an issue last time. Right, this guy, mm -hmm. it goes right here. Um, and it kind of fits in the bed there, as you can see. Yep. About loose, like so. Here's, see, the, here's the problem. Uh, angle, huh? And, uh, the, and how big it is, yeah. So, there's actually, can you see down in here? There's a notch. Oh yeah, that's good. There's a notch right there where my finger is. Mm -hmm. And notch, if you look on this, look at this guy, somewhere right, right there. There's a notch. So we gotcha. just gotta make sure we line that notch up in that little... So the seats. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull this hose clamp off so I don't get any crap out of it. What a pain. This seems so much easier than last time. I think that's because Danny was doing it. <laughs> yeah, I was just sitting there watching. <laughs> yeah. I was doing what you're doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy, right? It is easy. <laughs> you make it look easy. <laughs> you're like, man, I could go work on cars anytime. Yeah. I didn't get dirty, sweaty, nothing. <laughs> now, this is out of the 2020 or 2021? Uh, oh, no, no, 2020, my bad. The 2020, 2020 Aura, yeah. <clears throat> so just gonna flow a bunch more air. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, should give us the equivalent of, uh, oh, this will help because, see, we're gonna, we're gonna try to do a comparison of your car to this car. Airbox. On, uh, well, Airflow. we're gonna, we're gonna try to do it on, uh, uh stage five. Yeah. Then, uh, then we're gonna go, uh, launch control in this car and then compare again. So this will be a better comparison because you have V-Flow. Mm -hmm. And this car does not have V-Flow, but it does now. That little guy in there. That lines up with this notch in here. It's right there where my... Yep. Right there where my finger is. So I lost it when I was trying to put it in there. I couldn't figure out where that was, so I just marked it. 
just now. Mm. And then I put a little bit of grease on this because I was having a hard time getting it in there. It's a little rigid. So there's our mark. I'm gonna put the back side in first, hopefully. Oh, I think I won the battles. <coughs> Check it out. There you go. I think I won. Yes. Alright. Okay, so that piece is in. Now, let's put everything back together. Alright. Alright. Time to put this box in. Can you, light? can you see in there? Can you see in there? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Something here a little bit. All right. I don't know which hose. I think we want to get the small one on first, maybe. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna pull here. this guy off. I think it would be good. Let's see how this goes. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> might have to pull the shock loose. Nah. Um, let's see here. Come in. How about if you kind of like just pull it in? <laughs> I think we're gonna have to pull the shock loose. Nah, we'll figure it out. Let's uh, let's go to break. We'll figure it out. All right, we'll All be right. back. We'll be back. What did we do? Ah, what we did was we noticed that it was hitting against the soy brain link, so we disconnected both rear and yeah. soy brain links. So if you're doing Turn this, the bar down, and hopefully we got enough room to get in there. So if you're doing this, honestly, you can pull that shock off pretty quickly and do it. But we wanted to see, go ahead and see if it fits in there now, you right. Right? right? So what we did is we spun it around upside down and it was gonna go except for it was hitting the sway bar, sway bar in link and the sway bar itself, honestly. Oh my god. So look at that, maybe yeah, look gives at you, that. Gives you all kinds of room if you drop the sway bar down. Hold so on. we'll see if that works. Let me do this here. Oh. Oh bar. There we go. She's almost in. We are in. Okay. Now we just gotta connect hoses. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs> Appearing weekly. All right, so we gotta go all the way over there, right? Yeah. I would start putting hoses on right here. Right. So this guy right here. I put the small. Where's that little small hose? Over uh, here, it's huh? in there somewhere. This guy right here. Mm, yes. Do we have to put that one back yep. in? Yep. That goes. There's a spot for it right there. It's right by the hose clamp right there. Right here. Yep. See it there? Woo. Hello. There we go. Yeah. Now we can so tighten. that's on there, and then, huh? We can probably tighten that one. Yeah, that way. We just don't forget. Those guys. Mm -hmm. oh, he's here. She works. I think. That's probably good. It doesn't have to be crazy, Ty. I think you're good. Okay, so. So now we got to just kind of get it in place and get that. Oh, we got to put this clamp back on that guy. This one right here? Yeah, there it goes up there. There we go. She's in. Oh, Check yeah. her out. Make sure you're all good. Yeah, looks good. And then all we gotta do is get the little baby clamp here, put this on and put that on the nipple. Yeah. Oh, Already bleeding. oh man. Uh, That's it. it. Alright, we gotta go to break time. Oh sure. You can can you drive me to the hospital quick? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Stitches. Right. I need some band-aids right now. Maybe like a point seven of a stitch. Yeah. Oh shoot, I feel a little faint right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the deal? Here we go. Yeah, uh, it up a little bit. I don't know why I got this damn stitch on there still. Danny, Danny's gonna love it. Alright. Alright, I just gotta make sure the, what do you call it? The clamp is facing where we can tighten it. Okay. Alright, so All that right. bad boy's on. Um. We're gonna have to do this, Darren. We're gonna have to tighten it up from the 
inside or the inside of the compartment over there. Or yeah. The, uh, motor. All right. We're going to grab this one. This might take two of us. We'll be back. We're really close. What we're going to do is pull this down. So here's what we got going on. Uh, let me find the light, even though that camera is really good and picks it up anyway. We have the 2020 air box in. Now, oh, we forgot one clamp. Let's do this one clamp real quick. Okay. okay. So everybody clamp. says direct fit. Uh, it's pretty close, but here's what we noticed. All right, let me get in there. With the bolts tightened up that hold the air box in place that go through this the firewall basically right there, you can't, it's hard, really hard to get the cover on because this cover has, has this piece and you end up, this piece, the air box ends up all the way against the firewall and it's hard to get that on. So we just have the bolts loose. We're going to put this on and tighten the bolts. But other than that, yeah, drug fit, yeah. <laughs> um, we have one clamp we got to tighten up that we almost forgot about. The rest of them are already tightened up. I'm going to tighten that up. And then what we're doing with this is we're going to blow out the air filter, Travis. It's a new air filter, but we're going to go ahead and blow it out anyway, weird, right? It has a pre-filter on it, too. Nice. So we just snagged the pre-filter and the new filter, and we stuck it in our old box for a ride that we went on. Now we need to clean it out, we're going to put it in our new box, and then we'll be ready for... Basically, what I want to see is if we make a difference in the 0-60. to 60. We uh, did a 437 on the stock box with the tune we have now, which is a 3RWI on 93 octane. So we'll see. Blow this thing out, put it together, fire it up. Perfect. All right, Darren, what we got, man? We are ready to put this thing together and fire it up with the new 2020 RR Airbox. 2020? Ooh. 2020, yeah. The X3. 2020 yep. X3 RR. RR, yep. There's so many. Man. I know. All right. I get so close. RZR Pro XP. RS, Ultimate premium yeah. base. RE, the RLE limited edition. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Goes on and on and on. What else we got? We got the new, uh, that thing, able to cut your, you got you? You okay you know, shave some of your skin off. Woo, dang. So, we have. I got Snoopy Band-Aids in the truck. Do you, do you have any, uh, which ones? Of the, um, Hello Kitties. I ran out, I got SpongeBob and I got Charlie, okay. uh, well, I'm okay for now. Okay. So anyway, so, this, uh... How's it coming, man? This thing's a son of a mother, let's go. Let's look at you. It's, look, I need a Hello Kitty. So, <laughs> Sorry, man, I took the last one. <clears throat> Gold star when I get it on. How about if you just, like, right, yeah, just push that sucker down? Yeah. No? Won't do it, huh? I like you try it. <clears throat> push, push it. You push it real good. Put some WB-40 on it, man. Yeah. This is ridiculous right now. There's probably an easier way to do this. <clears throat> that I don't know about. And you guys are laughing at me right now. I don't care. Well, I'll just slide it over, man. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <clears throat> um, Mr. Who's talking what now? Oh, no, no, I got it. Huh? I got it. You got it, huh? I think so. You got it? Let's time this. Here we go. We're timing you. Hey, oh, shit, hey everybody out there, you're timing them, right? <laughs> Let's time them. Now just... I'll throw this over and I'll just do this later. <laughs> I'll put a counter on the clock. I'll put a counter up on the screen. There we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, guys. I need that Hello Kitty band we got, right we, got the, we got the I first shaved some, Actually, shave some skin off. Can you see that? I see that, dude. Both of us today, dude. Look at that. What is the deal? That thing's sharp. That's all right. I got to play it and see my doctor tomorrow and see how that goes. Yeah, I would. You know? I'd see your dermatologist. Yeah. Well... I ran out of that last Hello Kitty band. How's that going for you there? It's, it's almost there, dude. But you know what? If this was my car, this would be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost there, dude. Now I was trying to get this little guy out. Well, We're timing you, but it's don't like worry about that. like a glove. What's the time on the clock say? Comment down below and tell me what time okay, this you think we're going to end at. There we go. But there, you there, we do go. It now there we go. Because otherwise the clock's going to run out. Hurry, do it before the clock runs out. What we got? He's like, oh, I don't know. I haven't put the timer on the screen. We won't know. There we go. Only the viewers will know when they watch it. But they're going to comment oh, there below we go. Here we go. and see what, what, what time they think you'll end on. I keep feeling under pressure, though. Feel the pressure? Man. Good. 
There you go. Oh, it's almost on. Oh my god. Oh. Give me a razor blade so I can slit it. Oh yeah, I know. If we had just cut that thing open, it'd been easier. Okay, so, so this is gonna be. <laughs> it's got. I'm be right all there. Okay, way, here we go. Man. Look at that. Look at that. Be all I got just, Can't be no white, Sean. Pull over the lip. Can't be no skin, Sean. Yeah. This has got a lot this of force. PG. You might have PG. You might have beat this out, but this is a lot of force. Can't be what kind of time do we have on the There we go. Run? Look, he's OCD, so it's got to be right at the end. Dude. That's not going to be happy. <laughs> yeah, have you seen my car? <laughs> I think it's a minute 11. It seems like you had good ideas of how about how easy this There we go. Be. Come on, sucker. Yeah. What do we have on the clock? I think we're good. What do we have? I want to play that. I think set. I've been done for like 20 seconds. So Jeopardy wipe music. off 20 seconds. Yeah, right. Because, you know, I was kept going, but it was topped out. Jeopardy music. Right Look here. at that. Like a glove, dude. I could dub on O.J. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> uh, Danny will know what meme we're talking about. <laughs> that, that meme he always sends out to us. <laughs> uh, so we're going to put this in. And... Oh, man. Look at that. First time putting the air filter in our new Ooh. 2020 air box. I don't think I'm in the right hole. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. So about this direct fit, I think we talked about it. I had to leave the bolts mm -hmm. loose to be able to get this side on. Uh, mm -hmm. This side on. Then we'll clamp them down. But but it does fit. Everything's on. The hoses are all on. The filters in. Uh, it's gonna breathe more. And we're gonna see if it if it uh, picked up any zero to sixty seconds. It looks faster. It is. There we go. Almost. Almost. Here's what's going on. So I don't know about the direct fit thing because here's why. This box has a has these metal clips, right? Yep. And look, you need about that much room to get it on. There's like that much room when you mount this box up without some kind right. of spacer. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully you can picture this without do like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the hardware store. I'm going to get some all thread or a bolt and cut it off, whatever. I'm going to stick it in here and I'm going to put a nut and lock it onto here. Spaces out the Maybe air box. even two nuts. It spaces the air box out so I get about that much of a gap from the firewall in the air box. There you go. And then I can get this cover on. I don't know what I'm missing. If I'm missing something and you've done this and you know what it is, comment below. That'd be awesome. In the meantime, it's on. All hoses are connected. Uh, I'm going to tighten this hose up. We're going to fire it up and see what it sounds like. Yeah. We're going to fire it up and see what it sounds like. Cool. All right, Darren. Okay, so we got that air box in. We're going to fire this thing up. I don't know if there's going to be any kind of difference. It's noticeable or not as far as what it sounds like. But just for the heck of it, we're going to fire it up. And stay tuned. Next video. Well, maybe next video. I don't know. Sometimes I get mixed out of order it could be something else but soon next video next within the next couple of videos will be the zero to 60 with this air box on sweet
has some parts falling off. Damn it. We got some parts. Some of your parts fell out. Uh, I don't know if that was a stock air box. Oh, you know what? That's the top part of the CD. Oh. Got a nice neighbor over there helping us out, picking it up. That was cool. Snappiness. Yeah, a little, little snap here. Um, well, because this car, the, like you guys will roast off those, uh, uh, whatever tires you're running. Oh, the fuels? Yeah, uh -huh, the rippers? That your car and Danny, like Danny's roasting them off good out here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Blue smoke. These big horns grip. All right, so what do you think, you're right? Good day, good day, you know. We did it. Got to see a 2020 Airbox going on a 17. Yeah. So, it works. Got to do a little bit of modification. Yeah. You know, so like you said earlier, if anybody has any comments, you know, please comment and say, hey, man, you got to do this or you got to do that. But yeah, if we're missing something, tell us what we're missing. Basically, we don't have enough room in between the air box and the firewall, whatever you want to call it back here. Um, because, you know, you got to get those clamps in and the things and the deals. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get some all thread or a long bolt or something, cut it off. And I'm gonna stick it in there with a nut so it spaces it out from the firewall and put a nut on the behind the seat. Yep. Call it good, right? Yep. So we allows that clamp to move in and out, you know? Yeah. Of course a little bit more room. Because I think you can bolt that airbox up, but it's that last latch that just gets caught up. Okay, so we just ran this thing, it felt pretty good. I can't tell if there's a difference. We'll run it on the draggy and then we'll know for sure. Um, but it did feel, you know, lit up the tires pretty good until we we'll drive, so. So, I good. think maybe there's a little difference, a little yeah. more punch. Once the drag is on it, yeah, we'll find morning, out. Numbers yeah. don't lie, see what happens. And so, we, for anyone that hasn't been paying attention, we've done a ton of zero to 60s on a bunch of cars, but on this car alone, we've probably done five or six, I can't remember. We did all the way from the original tune, actually stock with some clutching, to our original KMS tune, which we were running for quite some time over a year great tune ran great but we wanted to make those increments on the 91 which we did 91 all the way to 93 with evo power sports evolution power sports great tunes uh, we're going to continue with those we're staying with those going forward uh, we're getting ready to go to the 4wri we are on the 3rwi something like that right now 93 octane uh car's running good but we are going to hit all the way up to the 5 uh, x85 Stage 5 X85, which Uriah is running, and Danny is also running. Uh, we're going to line it up. We're going to compare. We're going to put the pow pow, the <coughs> launch control, the two step on, and then we're going to see the difference between a car with and without, which they're identical cars. They're both 2017s. They both start with 154. They have all the same stuff, all Evo tune stuff. The only difference being we put a 2020 airbox. Yep. He's got the V flow. Should be equivalent. I would guess that's an equivalent. Put the big horns on mine. Yeah. Put the 2500 on uh, 2500 RPM spring. Yep. And we will line them up and do a direct comparison. Exactly. That's coming up soon. Very looking uh, forward to that. <laughs> but next, before that, zero to 60 on the 2020 airbox and a 2017 car to see what that looks like. Peace. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, Brandy said. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit like. Don't for, don't forget to hit dislike twice if you don't like it. And uh, comment. We love comments. So and Patreon. We're on Patreon. Brandy said peace. We're out.